The Social Security Administration comes out with the greatest increase, the biggest increase to their benefits in over 40 years. Uh, right Hand Dan is here, did all the research, and we're going to bring you the newest news as it relates to everything Social Security. Yeah, so this October, the administration came out with the biggest increase to the cost of living adjustment for Social Security benefits in the last 40 years. So for next year, 2022, there's going to be an increase of 5.9% to the benefits. And for context, last year, it only increased by 1.3%. And the last time it increased by anything close to this was in 1983, which it increased by 7.4%. And the thing here is it's it's a raise, but it's a raise in quotations because it's actually just bringing the benefit up to par with what inflation has been doing for the last 30, 40 years. And so what was interesting is the Seniors League, which is apparently an organization uh, that is quoted all the time when it comes to uh, Social Security, is they have done a study, and it was in 2019, and they determined that the purchasing power of Social Security benefits have lost 33% since wow. the year 2000. Wow. Yeah, so when you factor in uh, things getting more expensive, the benefits have decreased basically because they haven't been keeping up with inflation. Yeah. Uh, we, we talk about this a lot about the importance of inflation. In fact, we have this thing called the cash flow ratio where we can show someone that you have to maintain. It's like an increased gr like graph. It's like an increased line that shows you like, hey, in 30 years, you have to make so much more money just to maintain what you're currently spending today. And what, what, what we're showing is that like Social Security is like you're losing buying power every year. It's also showing that for them to increase this, they're admitting that yeah. inflation is getting out of control. I think that's the craziest thing is we've been told for months and months and months now, don't worry, inflation's not really that yeah. big of a factor. And then yeah. suddenly they come out with the sweeping, hey, we're going to increase by almost 6%. I wonder, and so this is more of a question for the comments. Uh, think about this, comment below. What does this mean? Like, do you do you believe inflation is 6%? What do you believe? Because we're, we're throwing out these 3% and we've all had conversations about it. There's an argument to be made. Some people say it's not as high as 3% because of um, just technology and, and we've just advanced so much. So it's um, suppressed inflation. But then you start looking at other things and you're like 3%, like it's way higher when you, yeah. when, especially when you factor in lifestyle inflation and having kids and other things where you just end up spending more because of your life. So I'm just curious, have you done a personal inflation rate to just your current lifestyle? And I, I would guess a majority of people the inflation when you factor in lifestyle inflation has been way greater than three percent well and there's so many things we talk about the printing of money all the time yep. and I, I saw something recently is if you look at the price of gas last year at this time versus today it's almost double today it's crazy it's like there's a cost to printing all this money and yep. we won't go far into that but this is again it's a, it's a huge increase and the the next big thing with this benefit increase is that the retirement age or full retirement age is increasing now oh, this one's this one's kind of arbitrary uh in, in my opinion because Previously, this is like the classic government. It was the full retirement age was 66, age 66 and 10 months. Yeah. And yeah. now, now the, the change is going to be age 67 for anyone that was born after 1960. Okay. It's very clean. 67. Once you reach age 67, now you can receive your full benefit. And what's interesting about this is the, the full benefit has a couple factors in play, because if you take the benefit prior to full retirement age, you actually get a reduction of the full. So a hundred percent is at age now 67. Mm. If you take it at age 65, you're gonna get a reduced benefit. And if you wait up to age 70 and above age 70, you can actually get up to 132% of your monthly benefit, which is pretty interesting. Uh, you know, past 70, there's no benefit to continue to wait. So if you can wait, you know, there's a lot of debate uh, of whether or not Social Security is gonna still be around. We actually did a podcast many months ago on that. Personally, I think it's gonna be around. So. Uh, this is not financial advice, but I personally would wait uh, to receive your benefit. <laughs> Let's just say this. If social, social Security is not around, we're going to have bigger issues. Yeah. We're, not, we're not saying that, they, I mean, I think we can all admit that the program is not going to, we're going to have to steal from other things. Yep. And I think one of the factors is like, I think taxes have to go up. But if the government stops paying people, um, we know that a lot of people de uh, depend on it and we're going to have bigger issues. Well, Wouldn't right, you agree? Right now, 65 million Americans receive a monthly payout. Yeah. yeah. So it's just it's just something to look at. It's interesting. And it's one of those things as a politician who wants to be the person that cut. Hey, talk about losing votes. That's going to be a way to lose a lot of votes. But yeah, continue. Well, and to your point, though, the, the, my next point is that high <laughs> earners are going to be paying more in tax yeah. already just just from this, let alone what's right. going to happen you know, in the 2030s 
when supposedly the trusts are going to run out. I want to just make one one point, and we can make another video about this. Um, but if you're someone that's thinking about Social Security and thinking about what age, make sure that you are intentional with this. Make sure that you're talking to somebody, whether it's us or somebody else, that you're that you're making an intentional decision. Like I'm going to take it today, or I'm going to wait. And there's it, it's all math. And when we talk about cash flow ratio, you can measure it with cash flow. Should you take it now? Should you wait? Uh, I can't tell you across the board this is the right answer because there's other factors. Uh, but but we see so many people not intentional. They just they didn't even know that this existed. And they're like, oh, I'm going to take it. And a lot of times when we start looking at their financial life, uh, it would have been more efficient if they waited. And sometimes it would be more efficient if they would take it right away, just depending on where their assets are. Yeah, and what we're going to do is the SSA actually has a chart that shows, you know, based on what time frame you take uh, your benefit, what the percentage is, and that's something that we'll include in the show notes. But again, it's the big factor of when and, yeah. you know, it's, it's just funny to me, this talking about this in general is this, it was never designed, the system was never designed to do what it's doing is basically people's retirement. Yep. And that's a whole episode in itself. Yep. But to your point previously is that taxes are going to go up. It's another portion of this is for 2022, taxes are going to increase. And so last year, the, the program collected just shy of $1.12 trillion in income, which about a trillion of that came from the 12.4% payroll tax on an earned income. This is wages and salaries, not investment income. And that's a lot of money, but it's so funny mm. nowadays with the printing of money and the trillions and trillions, you know, you talked about $10 trillion that was printed over the last two years. Like this is a trillion seems like not that much. Right. Uh, but at the end of the day, it does, you know, it's providing benefits to 65 million Americans. But what's key here is that it's going to increase by $4,200. So the threshold right now is from one penny of income up to $142,800 of income. There is that 12.4% payroll tax. Mm -hmm. And that threshold is now going to be increasing in 2022 by $4,200 to $147,000 of income. So this is going to affect about 6% of Americans. And it's going to be about an extra $520 of tax. Uh, you know, at the end of next yep. year. It all adds up. That's, I mean, it's no one little tax is going to be like the problem. It's just when you start adding them all up, we are going to see higher taxes. And that's, I just want to also say this. When we say that Biden is raising the taxes on the middle class, this, these are some of the things that we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And lastly, <laughs> uh, the maximum monthly payouts are going to be increasing. So this is really reserved for the people who have had high income over a long period of time there because there's a couple factors that are at play for you to actually be able to receive the max payout. There, I don't think there's very many people that actually get the max payout, which uh, was capped at $3,148 per month. Mm -hmm. And in 2022, that's going to increase by $197 to $3,345 per month. And in order to receive the max payout, you have to wait until full retirement age. You have to work at least 35 years. And in those 35 years, you either have to perfectly hit or surpass the maximum taxable earnings uh, that the SSA uses to calculate the, the monthly payout. Hmm. So there's going to be a, an increased tax for people that are earning you know, up to $147,000. But then anybody who you know, over the last 35 years or prior, you know, whenever they, they had their earning years, were earning the top cap, um, will be getting an increase in their monthly benefit. Awesome. So just in full summary... You know, the increase, 5.9% yep. increase, which is incredible. Um, and I'm, who does this affect? Does it affect everybody? Yeah, anybody, anybody who has Social Security benefits or is receiving Social Security benefits is going to get an increase by 5.9%. And again, it's the increase in quotations, but it is an right. increase. Um, and then the full retirement age is now increasing to 67 years. Yeah, so it's increasing two months to now an even 67 years. We'll have to pay more in taxes. Some people will, yes. And then the maximum monthly benefit has also increased. That's correct. All right. So do you want to show this chart? And we will also, we will give a summary of the notes down below and also a link to this chart. Uh, do you want to explain what we're looking at? Yeah. So this is the chart that I referenced previously is basically saying that if if you get to age 66, you get the 100% of the benefit. And if you go to the now, you know, up to 10 and 11 months, it increases mm -hmm. a percentage over that time. And then it just keeps increasing from there. And I think um, you know this is going to get simplified, obviously, because it's going to be now age 67. But mm -hmm. it does every single month that you wait to receive the benefit, it does increase slightly up to the age 70, where it is a, a cap of 132%. Got it. And again, there is no, there is no further benefit past 70. And obviously, 
starting in 2022, that's when they're going to update the ages. Yep. Um, so is it fair to say that if you do, if you look at your number, you can then t go look at this chart and say, okay, if my number's X and I, and I wait to 69, I can take that and multiply it by 1.24 kind Correct. of deal. Okay. So it's interesting. Please check out the link down below. What are your final thoughts? I mean, it's, it's interesting. A lot of people say, um, you you guys do like do you help with with social security absolutely like we'll help someone be more efficient because we're really passionate about that it's not like we don't do a ton of re of conversations about retirement income we're, we are going to take that segment a lot more seriously when you look at the amount of people that need help but what are your final thoughts as it relates to that and i'll, I'll end with my final thoughts uh, my final thoughts are i think this is indicative of the bigger issue yeah. of inflation is much higher than what, what is yeah. being told and it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the next coming years you know 2022 is it, quite honestly is going to be a blip compared to the last 40 years. But when we start looking at what are the compound effects of yep. all this money that's been printed and taxation and just all these things that we're talking about is it'll be really interesting to see what the ramifications are. Yeah. My, my final thoughts are this inflation's real. And if the last couple of years, which we know that inflation was, was greater than 3%, if they only increased at 1.3 and now they're increasing at almost 6%, yeah. like, that just translates that that inflation is here and we have to start thinking about that as it relates to our wealth. And so that's number one, how does that translate? Like whether you're 20 or whether you're, you know, 70 years old, how does that translate? And then number two, um, there's just, if you, if you follow us, like we're going to start highlighting all the areas that taxes are going up. And, and one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm going to be looking out for, and I'm really grateful for your research, Dan, is looking for all the ways that taxes are increasing without the political raising your taxes. Right. Because someone's got to pay for this. And I think that's the that's the theme is like, okay, if that's the case, um, regardless of where you're at, let's make sure that we're being tax efficient with how we're saving our money, with how we're using our money, with how we're thinking about our wealth. And so, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Please like this video if you find this helpful. Please share this with someone that uh, this might uh, be relevant to, which is... 65 million plus people. So this uh, video should get a lot of views. And overall, uh, we just really appreciate you following this journey. Thank you so much for listening to the Better Wealth Podcast. It would mean the world to me if you could hit subscribe, leave a review, and share this with the people that you know and love.